Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network. Welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Uh, today we've got, um, I believe, an early preview release of the Master Box. It may be out in stores at this point, but uh, the Master Box release of a friendly boxing match. This one's between uh, U.S. paratroopers and British paratroopers. Uh, they're fighting, at least on the box, depicting it on an airfield. Um, this kit is uh, MB35150. It is 135th scale, of course. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, it comes in one, one bag of uh, two uh, styrene sprue sets. And uh, the, uh, you can see from the first one here, the um, detail, uh, I'll show you closer up here in a second, but uh, you can see from, from that it's a kind of a dark uh, beige plastic or almost like a tan. Um, the legs are in two halves. Um, the torso is obviously pretty standard. Um, let's get closer up though and I'll show you a little bit more. All right, so um, you can see here's, uh, here's some good detail of some torsos. And uh, Masterbox obviously has been improving their, their craft over the last year or so. And you can see some really nice, uh, nice sculpt detail in these torsos. Let me show you, uh, stop bumping my camera around show you the other two that are on this set and then we'll move on to some other parts here's some of the faces so there's there's one there with a big kind of ugly not ugly as in bad looking but ugly as in like you know kind of looks has a has a, a mean look on his face um and here's one of the arms so he's holding a cigarette or cigar probably here's one of the legs the other one. Um, here's one of the other faces. This guy's kind of yelling and more happy. And there's, uh, he's one of the people fighting. Maybe he's got his kind of hand clenched like boxing. And here's uh, the other legs. A lot of good sharp detail on these, so should be good, easy to paint. Um, here's one of the other faces. Let me turn it around. Um, also looks nice. He's kind of pointing. You can see there's a little a little flash there, like under the fingers, but uh, easily sandable, trimmable, nothing really major. Here's a little dog. Woof, woof. All right, so I'll go on to the next one. And this actually has the guys who are boxing in it, I think. It's funny how when you're boxing, you know, you're kind of like you had your the other guy, the bystander has his hands clenched and like he's boxing too. Uh, and this guy has some interesting... Uh, you know, uh, chest muscle abs going on here. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll, withhold, I'll withhold judgment on that. I'm not sure how that might look a little too, uh, too over detailed. Uh, there's one of the fighter's faces and his legs. And uh, trying to maybe turn it, uh, not too much of a, any seam detail there, seam lines. Some. And then uh, here's, uh, I believe, one of the other ones I, no, wait, uh, was that the one I was, that was the one I was showing earlier. No, no, I think that, no, I guess that was the other, that's the other side. So here's the other guy, he's got kind of his arm upper, kind of like doing a, doing a, a uppercut, or not an uppercut, but a, a jab. Uh, and then there's another face there. And uh, this is another face with a hat. And for torso. I think these are the guys that are going to be nearest to them. And there's their torsos. He's got the towel around his neck. So I, I think you can see from this other, oh, here's the, the hand with the boxing gloves. Let's see if I can flip that over. You can get there. So, boy, he's got some muscles on him, that's for sure. There's the back of that the fighter. And then let's see if I find the other one here. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's over here. There's the back of the other fighter. So nice, nice muscle detail on the backs. I like, I like that, and the legs. It does have some really good, really good sculpt quality here. So I hope uh, that little preview has uh, shown you something about this, this set. Uh, and if you are interested, uh, I think you, you can start looking for it in stores uh, sometime soon, um, if not already, or online. So I hope you enjoyed, and leave comments and suggestions below.